نخبط على الحيطان نخبط على الارض هنعمل مزيكا من اي حاجه واحنا الاوريجيناليتي الاندر جراوند هم المزيكا تي يعني احنا بنعمل كده عشان احنا بنحب كده احنا المزيكا من الاخر والمناري اعلى مزيكتنا دي محتاجه ان ناس كتير تعرفها ناس كتير تشوفها بشكل مختلف بشكل بتاعنا احنا اللي هو بشكل مثلا ايه خاص بينا احنا كبند مزيكتنا احنا بشكل مختلف بنعرف الناس بالستايل ده بالشكل ده بالثقافه دي تمام عن طريق وجهه نظرنا احنا تمام يعني نعم في ناس كتير اختلفت عن ده او لان احنا كمجتمع برضو او كمجتمع نوبي اه تراثنا بالذات ممنوع الاضطراب او التصوير المزيكا بتاعتنا بالشكل ده لازم لما حد تاني هيبتدي يعملها لازم يعملها بالشكل ده لان هو دي الهوية هو ده الناس دي هي دي شكلها هي دي مزيكتها هي دي الهوية هو دي ثقافتها يعني هي بتتكلم هنا المزيكا ايا كانت شكلها ايا كانت المزيكا راجعة دايما لثقافة المكان <تصفيق> بنأدي وبنعمل مزيكا بتاعتنا مزيكا مصرية العالم كله النهارده بيسمعنا في ستايل فيوجن هو ممكن تلاقي فيه جاز بيتلعب مع بلوز مع فانك مع ار ام بي فالموضوع حلو جدا لانه بيكسبرس مزيكا اكتر بكتير وبيأدرس كذا ستايل وكذا نوع من المزيكا في اغنية واحدة ستايل مزيكتي ان انا بلعب دف ده على طول حتى لو مش 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 التراك نفسه مش كده يعني بس تلاقي حته كده تحت كده اورينتد اي حد نوبي عنده استعداد كبير جدا دايما من مرض ما يسمع مزيكا تعجبه يبتدي يتفاعل معاه ويتحرك يتحرك بشكل فاهم ازاي؟ خلاص انت بتعمل بوم هم بوم 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 من زمان وانا عايز حد يعلمني وكنت دايما مثلا اي حد انه يعلمني يقول لي لا ما ينفعش فقلت انا ما ممكن اتعلم اعلم الناس عادي يعني شهابي انت ميز نايم في مرة لقيت الباب بيخبط قمت فتحت ايوه فلقيت اللي جاي لي بيقول لي دي جي اكادي من كايرو فانا اتخضيت الموضوع طلع ب... في ناس بتشوفه وفي ناس هتيجي أه... يعني فانا طبعا قلت له اه اه طبعا وانا مش محضر اي حاجه خالص اتفضل وبتاع دخلته عجبه المكان طب ايه نظام الكورس وانا قاعد قعدت الف السيستم اللي احنا بندي كورسز كذا وكذا طب يلا هنبتدي بكام الكورس يلا هوبا بدا واحد في الثاني فجأة لقيت بالعشرة بالخمستاشر بالعشرين الموضوع بدأ ينتشر جامد جدا عملنا اتصال ب Ministry of Sound لندن شرحت له الايديا الايديا ان احنا عايزين ناخد استراكترز من عندهم يجوا يدرسوا عندنا في الاكاديمي هنا اهو لمده اسبوعين ويختار حد من الدي جيز اللي هيخشوا يسافر يجي يلعب هنا في مينيستري اوف ساوند. ذا فيرست جيج دخلت حطيت الفلاش ميموري بتاعتي في الميكسر وفتحت اول تراك ومرة واحدة مش شايف اي حاجة
بروح الحفلات في حفله منهم انا كنت بعيط فيها ان انا اجهزتي اللي فوق وانا ما بلعبش بحاول على قد ما اقدر ان انا ماركت نفسي انا حتى كنت بحط على طول بحط اغنيه رنات على موبايل يعني على طول موبايلي بيرن بتراك تراكي فعلشان لو حد عجبه واحنا قاعدين في حته ايه التراك ده ده تراك يخش اعمل لي فولو انا في مصر الدي جي مش معترف بيه في نقابه المهن الموسيقيه صعب جدا ان انت تنزل حفله بالذات كدي جي شهرنا جدا في الغردقه فتره وفجاه جبنا فيلا والموضوع بدا يبقى فيه فلوس وبتاع وفجاه كل الاماكن دي قالت لنا باي باي روحوا بقينا بايتين في الشارع وبقيت ماشي انا بالعده في الشارع في الغردقه مش عارف اروح بيها فين كنت ببات بقى في الحته بتاعت الشماسي ابات في دخلت اوتيل كنت بصرف نفسي يعني مرمطنا بصراحه محدش خالص <تصفيق> وصل صوتنا الناس اللي قادره توصل صوتها للكوميونتي او للناس اللي اللي في مصر بيلعبوا مزيكا غربي الناس دي مقفول عليها جدا هو الكوميونتي صغير قد كده والناس كلها عارفه بعض والناس كلها هي اللي بتشغل بعض وموضوع ملوش اي علاقه تقريبا بالسكيلز دي علاقه بالبوبيولاريتي والكوميونيكيشنز فلو انت مش مشهور او لو انت ما تعرفش ناس حتى لو انت فاجر فانت سوري اي باند اندر جراوند بيحاول يطلع بيعاني معاناه ما يعلمش بيها الا ربنا تلاقي في حفله بتضرب منك حفله اتلغت حاجه حاجه الكهرباء قطعت بيحصل كده مواقف وطرائف خليك ايه تقول هو في ايه هو انا منحوس ولا ايه احنا لحد مثلا 2016 انا فاكر كنا بناخد 1500 جنيه في الحفله ولا حاجه زي كده فالموضوع مش بيجيب فلوس يعني عدد افراد الباند كل واحد فينا عنده فكره جامد بس عشان كلنا نتفق على فكره <تصفيق> اندر جراوند يعني واحد زي حالتي كده ده الاستوديو بتاعي اهو ورايا وانا ده ده في البيت يعني انا الاستوديو هو ده سريري اهو اندر جراوند اندر جراوند يعني معروف لكوميونتي معين او لسكيل معين النهارده بقى ممكن اقعد في البيت معايا اللابتوب بتاعي هعمل مزيكتي اللي انا بحبها تمام فيوز النهارده مليون 2 مليون انا نجحت لوحدي هوب برنامج هوب مش عارف فين هوب اتشهرت فاهم الموضوع بقى اسهل لما بتيجي بقى لللايف اكسبيرينس انت بتاخد كل اللي انت عملته في المطبخ ده وبتشيره مع الناس يا اما لاول مره لو هم هيسمعوك لاول مره يا اما لو سمعوك لتاني مره بس انت بتشيره بتيست مختلف. You give me. في الدي جي سيتس بتاعتي بقيت بلعب اغنيه يعني بلعب اغاني الناس والناس عامله ريميكس والاغاني اللي انا عاملها وبنبسط قوي 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 وده احساس ما بيتوصفش. ان انا ابقى بلعب المزيكا بتاعتنا التراك بتاعنا والناس فرحانه بيه جدا دخل التنوره الناس كانت بتصوت يعني هو حصل تراك ريكوجنيشن هم عارفين التراك ده انا عايز الناس تطلع تقول هو مين اللي بيلعب ده فاهم يعني هو لازم الناس تسال مين اللي بيلعب ده وتسال عشان كده لازم المزيكا تبقى مختلفه جدا يعني دايما ساعات بقى يعني ساعات بتسيب ساعات ما بتسيبش ساعات بنرجع تاني نعدل ده طبيعي جدا تمام بس ان احنا بنجرب وبنحاول وهنحاول يعني اه لا هنحاول اي حد ممكن يعمل اي حاجه في اي حته في اي وقت انت فاكر بس ان هو ياخد القرار ويعمله مفيش حاجه اسمها ما ينفعش مفيش اي حاجه اسمها ما ينفعش السد مش اخر حاجه I was just uh, looking at your um, profile in uh, 
on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So you are mostly into music. You're, you have been a DJ, right? Yeah, for like uh, six years now. Oh, okay. And, and being a producer mean that you mix music to, together and you, and you produce something new? Uh, I, I guess the, the music producer title is the title that is uh, for, you know, making a whole project, a whole music from, uh, from the composition itself into the mix and masters. Okay. So it starts sure. from a melody and then you build up something and, you know, uh, anything, I guess, except, uh, you know, singing or playing some instruments live. That's a music producer. Uh, but I'm also a, a, a TV program producer here in Egypt. Oh, That's you do TV thing. shows also? Yeah, yeah, you like to produce shows. Do, do you produce for yourself or do you produce for friends? Uh, depending, depending on, on what I'm doing. In, in my music, uh, it's usually me. Uh, and I have some contracts with some record labels. They buy my music and stuff. Uh, as for the TV shows, uh, I work with the local TV here. It's called On TV. Uh, we have some shows, some documentaries as well. Okay, okay. So, um, do would you say that you started to have a taste for music at home, like when you were a little baby or a little kid, you listened to a lot to music, or you developed that later? Yeah, my, my dad actually was a, a fan of the ABBA and Bonnie M. Yeah. When I was young, these are uh, the two artists that I kept listening when I was like five or six years old until uh, I learned to play the piano, then I played some guitar. I'm not professional at both, but I can play piano and guitar. And okay. then uh, I guess at 2011, I started uh, to, be, to discover how, how to produce music. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I got some pirate, uh, pirate program uh, that have some loops in it and just put this on this on this. It sounded uh, not, not the best at all, but okay. it was fun. And then okay. it started from here. When you were a teenager, you started doing it and playing with the different musics and stuff like that? Or yeah, I started later to develop. Oh, yeah, uh, I was, uh, I guess I was 14 mm -hmm. when I, I tried to rap. I, 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 <laughs> the main target was to be a rapper, mm -hmm. but uh, my sound actually didn't help me that much. So I, I actually, I found out that I love, I love to play music. I love to create music. This is, this is better than singing for me. So then I started to develop step by step, step by step, step by step. And we'll okay. keep developing <laughs> until we die. So you started with which instrument? You, uh, uh, you produce or you just mix music? Do you produce a music with a guitar? Yeah, or you... yeah with piano, piano. piano, with a piano. piano. Okay, so you started experimenting with piano and then you got interested in other form of music that you heard around your house or at home with your dad. And then uh, yeah. you that led you to become um, a DJ. Is that the way it worked? Uh, I, no, I was a fan of the oldies uh, with my dad, as you, as you just said, but uh, uh, when I heard uh, David Guetta, to be exact, uh, I love this type of music. It was actually new to the world. And I guess in like 2009 or something, uh, it was really good. I loved the music itself. And uh, So that yeah, was, uh, that was uh, music f from your country, correct? Like uh, no, David, David Guetta is, no, 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 no. It's not Egyptian at all. Uh, that, it was the inspiration also... came, oh, came American from international music. music. International, okay, okay. No, I just yeah. want to make sure you're you uh, were not only influenced by um, your country, but by other countries. So you were open to other music. What would your dad? He tune in different station on the radio dial. When you listen to music when you were young, did you listen to other kind of music? Yeah, Can many types of music. Uh, I love orke orchestra, uh, maybe pop music, some rock. Okay, so you, you were exposed to that early on also. Early in your yeah. childhood, you were exposed to other kind of music? 
Yeah, many types of music. Uh, and when I grew older, when I became a DJ, I started to explore stuff, to explore, and I tried to mix different genres with each other. Uh, and actually, I made a, a, a track in 2015. It's called Tanura. Tanura is a mix between the hip hop trap uh, music and the Egyptian music. Uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful mix. I, I actually love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, the mix between the Oriental music and or the Middle Eastern music with uh, with the electronic music, uh, I love that. This is uh, my favorite. You can say that. Oh, like Rashid Taha, you know know him, right? From no, I actually don't. <laughs> you don't. Oh, um, he is a singer who sings La Raya, and um, he sings uh, uh, music from uh, Algeria. Are you um? Um, are you uh, aware of some kind of music that French, I mean, North American immigrants play in uh, in France? It's called Rai music. Have you heard no, of Rai I music? Don't, I don't. I don't think I heard this before. Okay, Rai music is a mix of North African with French tunes, and um, they are very very uh, popular in France. Uh, and it's um, they dance it. They even came here in San Francisco at the Stone Grove uh, Festival. You know, open concerts in the park. And uh, yeah, I was able to to tape him. So you, the music that you play when you were a DJ were were all kinds of dancing music. Yeah, but uh, to be precise, a little bit. It's more of I got two two styles of performance. One is techno, yeah, techno and house music. Yeah, I perform sometimes. I produce live with some instruments. I play with my piano. Sometimes I have a guitar guitarist by my side, or uh, hip hop and trap music. And this is just DJing. Yeah, it's mainly right. performed, but my main it's it's techno. I, I love techno. I love to to make music with melodies live, like for the first time ever live. I love that. So, so uh, in the past, people, young people like T uh, over twenty one would go dancing, and then you would play the music. Is that what you did, or you did the DJ for events like weddings and other things? No, not weddings. I don't do weddings or birthday and stuff. Just you know, raves, uh, maybe uh, clubs, festivals. Oh, clubs. Okay, clubs. Yeah, that's even more you know, open, you know, if you, you yeah. it's mostly for dancing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's, it's all for dancing, actually. It's all for dancing, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, so that's a different kind of music that you would play in events, you know, like, uh, you know, open air events or whatever. But um, you uh, started being a DJ. How did you do that? Did you buy the equipment yourself or did you work with another DJ? Uh, I bought uh, a beginner mixer. It was okay. very cheap then. I guess it was like 2012 or 2013. I don't actually remember the date to be precise. Uh, and I started searching on YouTube how to mix, how to mix. And oh, okay. Then and I, trial and error, trial and error. Yeah. And then I went to some place in Egypt called DJ Academy in Cairo. Wow. Not from the name, <laughs> it's an academy for DJs. Uh, actually, when I when I was I, when I first went there, they were impressed by my level. They told me no, you, they have like four levels, and I was applying for level one. You told me no, 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 no. You go to level three, direct level three. So, really, man? <laughs> uh, am I that advanced? He said, he told me, yeah, yeah, you're great. You just need more experience, the experience of the crowd. And I actually didn't believe him, but my first gig ever, there was like. 60 people or something it was not that crowded it's an empty actually empty stage uh, and i panicked my first time ever live i panicked i i couldn't complete my my show mm. uh, maybe because i love it too much so i, I was very nervous the first time to do my dream you know <laughs> even if it was for a few number of people okay are you in, in your car because you don't want to make noise while people are sleeping at home no, uh, I'm actually uh, I'm actually at my friend's wedding. <laughs> oh, you are. Uh, That's even yeah. nice. 
that's awesome because uh, you take a break from the wedding to come talk to me. That's really incredible. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. <laughs> yeah, that's why you dressed up with this uh, with the shirt. Yeah, with the, yeah, with this one. <laughs> oh, okay, because on mm -hmm. your profile you look with curly hair and you know, kind of yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, like a hip hop kind of person. But here you look more like dressed up for, like you said, like a wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I am a hip hop person also. <laughs> oh, okay, no, but. But you look better when you're natural and long hair, and it looks more like you than with a suit. Yeah, it's uh, we, it's we can do like that you. now, can we? <laughs> yeah, you look uh, different here today. You look like you're going, you know, for a very special event. So your friend is getting married. You yeah, you, you are married. at the you are at the wedding. Yes, I am at the wedding in my car. Oh my God. So people are allowed to meet in person without a mask in Egypt? Uh, no, actually no. Hold on, I'll get the slide back on. Oh, so during the wedding, everybody's wearing a mask? Yeah, yes. Oh. Okay. Yes, but uh, you know, after three years of COVID, uh, they are not that cautious anymore. Man. Yeah, yeah. Some it's, people just take it off and wear it again, take it off and wear it again. Yeah. Take it off. Here too, we we don't uh, enforce it uh, inside anymore, except in buses mm. and uh, grocery store, we have to wear it. But everywhere else, people walk around without the mask anymore. Uh, they, It's not uh, required anymore. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so the whole world went through the different stages then. There has been two years exactly since March 2020. And they yeah. said that it could last up to three years on and off during when it's cold. You put the mask back on when it's warm, like today, you take it off, you know. It, the weather affects the number of uh, cases. So did that affect yeah. your business in some ways? It did affect my business in all ways, actually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because when when first COVID, when COVID started, I was actually shooting a documentary movie for uh, the musician. The movie was called The Musician. It yeah. talked about uh, the different uh, original Egyptian cultures of music. Yeah. I can send it to you if you want. It's yeah. I would amazing. like to see it. I can put it okay. on, on online too. Um, so you were working w on that movie. And I was working on that movie and I was planning, I actually did plan and did some deals with some festivals that I'm going to shoot there and I'm going to travel through every, you know, I was going to like eight cities, eight different cities with eight different cultures. I, then COVID happened and I had to shoot them at their homes. Oh, okay. 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 So you so, completed it. You completed it. Yeah, uh, it, it was it was a mission, you know, some kind of a mission. I, I waited like three months and I told myself, no, no, I'm going to do this even if it was at their home. They are going oh. to tell me the experience. I, I, of course, I wanted to, to shoot some uh, live performances, how the crowd engaged with them, because it's very unique. Because they are very different than each other. And all of these cultures are very different and originally 100% Egyptians. Sometimes it's mixed with some reggae, some electronic music, some. So there are uh, new types of music that I think uh, people outside Egypt doesn't know of. So uh, this By was the way, the actual you, So you, you are bilingual, right? You are bilingual? I don't know what's a bilingual. Bilingual means you speak two languages, English and uh, Arabic. I'm Egyptian. I, my mother tongue is Arabic, but uh, I studied in the UK. So, so that's why I your English is so good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you. It's not that good. <laughs> no, but it, uh, it shows that you're perfectly bilingual. Okay, thank you. Bi, bi mean two and lingual uh -huh. mean language. So bilingual okay. means two language. Bilingual, okay. It's, it's, yeah. it's the first time I heard that expression. So. Uh, okay, no, because I... Nice. I I started bilingual TV, and now I have French American, Indian American, mm -hmm. 
And it would be great if you can do Arab American uh, or Egyptian American because uh, the, those, that language is one of the most spoken language in the world. And it would be great. Mm -hmm. When I reach five languages, I will launch balangotv.us. Um, well, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know it's it's hard to find people who want to do it, but I did find someone who wants to do the Indian American, and um, and she she's very good at it. She likes doing it. You have to be motivated to do it. But if you ever want to do uh, Egyptian American, that's that's good. I mean, you interview people first in your language, then in in um, their language in English or vice versa, you can start in English and finish in their language. And then if you have the opportunity to tape anything bilingual, send it to me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you have a, a little camcorder, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. A camcorder is a, a oh, handheld video camera. Yeah, yeah, I have a professional camera, I'm a, I'm a director. Oh, okay. I, can do this so, in, so I have also have a green, a green screen at my home. I think I can do that. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just asking. Some people don't have the equipment, so they yeah, yeah, do it. Uh, but that's good that you're you're ahead of everybody else. <laughs> so oh, thanks. So, are you taping the wedding tonight? No, no. I'm, uh, just with my phone, some pictures for the memory. I guess he hired someone to do this. Uh, we're just leaving the moment. Yeah, actually, weddings uh, in the Egyptian cultures, you know, sorry, cultures uh, last very long. It takes like eight or nine hours. No kidding. Yeah. Because because they dance and talk and dance and eat and. There are some traditions. Uh, the the husband the the husband doesn't see the bride until she's get she's dressed and there is the first look tradition i guess this is also in america uh, there is some photo shoot with the bridesmaids and the uh, men of honor oh that's some huge. shoots yeah that's yeah huge. and then there is uh, the religious guy if they are even if they are muslim or christian who who does the the religious talk in order to document this marriage and then there is some type of music it's totally egyptian uh, with some Egyptian instruments that is played and we dance uh, a certain dance then we the DJ starts and we all go to dance and then a break we have meals and then we dance again and then home yeah yeah I've been to to a wedding like that uh, here in San Francisco it's a long long uh, uh, but the, the before the wedding they do date in America do you date uh, the person before you marry them in the, in Egypt yeah oh they do you date. Can date they do date uh, mainly in Cairo and Alexandria not in all Egypt but, but mainly in Cairo it's normal here to date uh, and, uh, and my they, friend was dating his girl for like four years and then uh, they engaged for a year you know but but they don't move with they don't move in just date oh they just date yeah of course not in, like in france where they move in no, no maybe they can have sex but they don't move in because the, move it's, in. it's hard yeah. for the culture yeah, yeah, it's a different culture. Some people move in for a year, then they get married. Uh, and mm -hmm. some people get married right away. It depends of their culture, or of their religion, too. Of course. Yeah, if, if you are very little religious, you don't move in and for a year and then get married. You, you get married first, right? <laughs> are you married yeah. yourself? No, no, I'm single. Okay, okay, okay. So you still uh, you're gonna find a lot of girls tonight to look at and date, maybe. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's a good opportunity for single men to to meet women, uh, weddings, yeah. and 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 you meet a lot of women anyway because you were a DJ. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> so so you're looking for a very specific woman because you didn't find her yet. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> no, I hope I can find someone special. Really. Oh, that reminds me. In Egypt, when you you DJ in clubs, was there mostly men or both? 
No, it's actually, uh, I, especially in clubs, there is there is a must a rule that the ratio must be equal. Oh, and they uh, it, uh, it, same number of men, same number of women. Not exactly, but yeah, yeah. About yeah, about the same. In order to, in order to make a reservation, you have to be couples or some mixed group with each other. No men only, but if ladies only, it's fine. Okay, because ladies are always welcome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's here racist. Too. Here too. <laughs> Sexist. Here, here, ladies are free till 10 p.m. Uh, because uh, they want they, women to come in for free. And then... Yeah, men, sometimes, sometimes they do that, but depends on the event itself. Yeah, of course, of course. But what I'm saying is they facilitate for women to attend, especially yeah. women who don't have jobs or whatever, because some women yeah. don't have money to go to clubs, right? So they let them let the women in free. I don't think that's the purpose for that. No, that's not. It's just to balance the number <laughs> of men and women. Yeah. Okay. No, it's true that uh, when you're young, you go out a lot, and then you gotta have a, a real good reason to go out later. Um, you know, during dot coms, you know, a lot of dot coms organized. Uh, events and you know to, to celebrate their new um startups or so there was events every week now it's nothing <laughs> there's no more startup events there's no more um celebration like it used to be so it's harder and harder to meet people i'm sure it's the same in egypt uh no uh actually when 2020 finished yeah uh, 2021 everything just uh, went as nothing happened just really? with a mask really we, we do everything just wear a mask we have a gig just wear a mask a so, festival just wear a mask so the club were still open all of them no kidding. i'm actually heading to one tonight <laughs> no here they closed them in san yeah. francisco i Really? I mean, for when the peak of the infection were high, the bars were closed and then uh, they reopened during summer and spring and they close again during winter when people start getting sick again. Maybe because of the weather and because winter here in Egypt, it's not that cold, maybe. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. Yeah. Here we locked down during uh, December, January. And we start reopening at the end of February when the weather gets warmer. That's the state of San Francisco or the whole US? Uh, no, it's just the state of California. Uh, for the whole US, it's different. Every state has their own rules. Yeah, yeah I know that. Because Florida, but for example, they, they are very wild. They go up without mask even in 2020. And in some states that are republican like texas people don't even want to be vaccinated uh so they they are pro freedom and are pro pro everything here we just comply we get vaccinated we have 80 percent vaccinated people as opposed to 50 percent in texas i'm sure you have uh, also you encourage people to get vaccinated in egypt yeah 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 I think most of the population already is vaccinated. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good because it depends of the of the state. Like you say, if you go in different state in America, it's different rules. Like yeah. New York uh, also closed down during the winter because it's very cold in New York in the winter. And everybody get the flu and they get COVID and they get sick. Uh, so... Anyway, the, the COVID is like the flu, if you want me to tell you, because you just get a sore throat, you stay in bed, and then you take antibiotic and you're better. It's just like a bad flu. Yeah, I got COVID two, two times, I guess. Yeah, two times. I got COVID two yeah, times. Yeah, I got it same, one time. Yeah, you're just sick in bed for a week, and then you're a little bit weak, but then you're back to normal. Yeah. I didn't get tested, but I think I got it uh, in uh, December, and then I got better with antibiotics. Uh, yeah, it, 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 I just had it in the throat. Some people have it in the chest, and some people, yeah. 
uh, it depends of the person where it affects them. But uh, people with the insurance survive better than people without insurance in America. <laughs> Everybody in Egypt are insured. You have universal health care. Uh, not everybody on paper yes but uh, practically no because uh, uh, the people who work with the government are insured but with pennies if you want oh, to oh very little money okay yeah. okay but the people in, uh, that are working in private businesses they got their own private insurance company so uh, they have a great insurance a good one okay yeah here too it's the same thing here you copied the, i mean we copied your system, <laughs> I, but anyway, I guess we did. <laughs> no, I mean, it's the same thing. People here are allowed yeah. to have their private insurance and then the government pays for the people who cannot afford it. And then there's always some people who don't want to apply because they don't have their social security or they don't have their immigration yet. So they're not insured at all. But here in California is very liberal. We insure everybody, even people who don't have their immigration paper. <laughs> we are very, very liberal here. We don't check people um, in the mission where a lot of people are from South America. They don't have working papers and it's the underground economy. We don't do anything to them. You know, Mexicans and Guatemalans, Nicaraguans, uh, they they still can stay here. We don't check their paper every day or whatever. We are very liberal here. So yeah. you should come to America. So you came to UK, that's the first step. Now you need to take yeah. another big step across the ocean and come to America. Yeah, I hope so, but I, I want something to get me there because when I went to the UK, uh, I was studying actually mass communication studies in the University of Bedfordshire. So I have my course for like a whole month and then I had some experience. I love the people there, I love the culture. I, I actually played the gig in the UK in some club at the city of Luton. It's not a popular city, but it was yeah. the city where the university was located. Uh, it was fun. I love the UK, I hope to, to go there soon, but uh, I'm not the, the person because here, you know, uh, due to the currency effect, the Egyptian pound, it's very cheap. So. Uh, traveling and the difference of the currencies. Yeah. Uh, the US, the, the bottle of water is very expensive for me to buy because uh, the bottle of water here costs in US dollars like maybe 12 cents or something. So, and vice versa in other stuff. Uh, you mean so in your country, a bottle of water is only 12 cents? Yeah. It's an, it's an Egyptian pound. It costs an, a whole Egyptian pound, but you know if you change the yeah yeah through. i understand yeah here water is yeah. very expensive in the bottle it could be three dollars you know yeah 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 i know i knew i, I actually experienced this in the uk and uh, surprisingly the alcohol is very cheap in the uk <laughs> than it's it's uh, in, in egypt and uh, cigarettes are very expensive in the uk and it's very cheap in egypt it, it varies it oh really varies it's because they're trying it. to get people to stop smoking yeah yeah same in france anyway cigarettes are very expensive in france. i guess i guess it's it's in all in your all europe i guess it's yeah 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 system. it's, it's uh, just true uh, so that only people with a lot of money can smoke <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. anyway uh i hope you don't smoke but it's not good for you anyway whether it's cheap or yeah, expensive of course. yeah yeah of course uh, i actually quit smoking uh, I was a heavy smoker and I quit smoking when my last, when I got COVID last time, it was like for uh, three months from now. Oh, and, and you three quit. Months, three years you smoking. quit. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, That's I good. Quit. Well, you're, yeah, it's, you are a, a clean air breather now. I mean, fresh air breather. Yeah, yeah because actually uh, it got me tired. I, I got hurt because of yes. smoking. Because yeah. we don't, I was not just smoking cigarettes. We have this shisha. We have, I have my own vape actually. So I was smoking all of them. So uh, I guess my lungs are black now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. No, because you were working in a club and, and you're around that environment. Yeah, and actually my other job, which is my daily job as a producer in a TV program or as a director, uh, I'm always nervous, always thinking of stuff because uh, I'm, I'm always forced to work with, with uh, 
a minimum crew because I'm not that famous yet. I don't have this budget yet. So I'm always trying to figure out some new creative thoughts in order to solve it, in order to be the most efficient. So that costs a lot of cigarettes, a lot of smoke. (laughs) Oh, a lot of stress, a lot of stress. Yeah, a lot of stress. Wow, but today you're okay, you're relaxed today, you're smiling and you're in a wedding and you're okay today because it's a it's a celebration for your friend yeah i I hope i hope he's happy yeah (laughs) is he uh is he a co-worker in the tv music no 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 he's a computer engineer oh totally different totally different okay (laughs) yeah so i look i look forward to hear a piece of your music or piece uh, a video you produce yeah, sure. and you can send that to me. I'll add it at the end of your interview to show who you are. Of course, that's great. That will complete the, the segment. And, it, and if it makes, uh, like we spoke, let's say for half an hour, then at the end, I'll put your work or at the beginning and at the end, I'll put your work. And this way mm-hmm. that will make an hour uh, a show. That's great. Well, that's great. Yeah, so I look forward to maybe one day meet you if you come to America, and I look What's forward also. To, <laughs> I also look forward to hear uh, your mixes and your production, and uh, I will send you, of course, the interview soon uh, as soon as I stream it. Thank you so much for being on our show. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you so much. Yeah. If you have a project you want to talk about, we can do another interview. But right now, I know you want to go back to your friend wedding. Uh, I appreciate you taking a half hour break for me. Thank you so much. You're so so much welcome. I hope to see you soon or talk to other projects, other stuff. Yeah, in another interview. And maybe dressed a little bit more relaxed. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) You're welcome. هنخبط على الحيطان هنخبط على الارض هنعمل مزيكا من اي حاجه واحنا الاوريجيناليتي الاندر جراوند هم المزيكا تي احنا بنعمل كده عشان احنا بنحب كده احنا المزيكا من الاخر مناني اعلى صوت مزيكتنا دي محتاجة ان ناس كتير تعرفها ناس كتير تشوفها بشكل مختلف بشكل بتاعنا احنا اللي هو بشكل مثلا ايه خاص بينا احنا كبان مزيكتنا احنا بشكل مختلف بنعرف الناس بالستايل ده بالشكل ده بالثقافة دي تمام عن طريق وجهة نظرنا احنا تمام يعني نعم في ناس كتير اختلفت عن ده او لان احنا كمجتمع برضو او كمجتمع نوبي اه تراثنا بالذات ممنوع للتراب او التصوير المزيكا بتاعتنا بالشكل ده لازم لما حد تاني هيبتدي يعملها لازم يعملها بالشكل ده لان هو دي الهوية هو ده الناس دي هي دي شكلها هي دي مزيكتها هي دي الهوية هو دي ثقافتها يعني هي بتتكلم هنا المزيكا ايا كانت شكلها ايا كانت المزيكا راجعة دايما لثقافة المكان <تصفيق> احنا بنأدي وبنعمل مزيكا بتاعتنا مزيكا مصرية العالم كله النهارده بيسمعنا في ستايل الفيوجن اللي هو ممكن تلاقي فيه جاز بيتلعب مع بلوز مع فانك مع ار ام بي فالموضوع حلو جدا لانه بيكسبرس مزيكا اكتر بكتير وبيأدرس كذا ستايل وكذا نوع من المزيكا في اغنية واحدة ستايل مزيكتي ان انا بلعب دف ده على طول حتى لو مش 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 التراك نفسه مش كده يعني بس تلاقي حته كده تحت كده اورينتد اي حد نوبي عنده استعداد كبير جدا دايما من مجرد ان يسمع مزيكا تعجبه يبتدي يتفاعل معاه ويتحرك يتحرك بشكل 
فاهم ازاي؟ خلاص انت بتعمل بوم هم بوم 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 من زمان وانا عايز حد يعلمني وكنت دايما مثلا اي حد انه يعلمني يقول لي لا ما ينفعش فقلت انا ما ممكن اتعلم اعلم الناس عادي يعني نايم في مره لقيت الباب بيخبط قمت فتحت ايوه فلقيت اللي جاي لي بيقول لي دي جي اكاديمي من كايرو فانا اتخضيت الموضوع طلع ب... في ناس بتشوفه وفي ناس هتيجي يعني فانا طبعا قلت له اه اه طبعا وانا مش محضر اي حاجه خالص اتفضل وبتاع دخلته عجبه المكان طب ايه نظام الكورس وانا قاعد قعدت الف السيستم اللي احنا بندي كورسز كذا وكذا طب يلا هنبتدي بكام الكورس يلا هوبا بدا واحد في الثاني فجأة لقيت بالعشرة بالخمستاشر بالعشرين الموضوع بدأ ينتشر جامد جدا عملنا اتصال ب Ministry of Sound لندن شرحت له الايديا الايديا ان احنا عايزين ناخد استراكترز من عندهم يجوا يدرسوا عندنا في الاكاديمي هنا اهو لمده اسبوعين ويختار حد من الدي جيز اللي هيخشوا يسافر يجي يلعب هنا في مينستري اوف ساوند. ذا فيرست جيج دخلت حطيت الفلاش ميموري بتاعتي في الميكسر وفتحت اول تراك ومرة واحدة مش شايف اي حاجة بروح الحفلات في حفلة منهم انا كنت بعيط فيها ان انا اجهزتي اللي فوق وانا مبلعبش بحاول على قد ما اقدر ان انا ماركت نفسي يعني حتى كنت بحط على طول بحط اغنية رنات على الموبايل يعني على طول موبايلي موبايل بيرن بتراك تراكي فعلشان لو حد في عجبه واحنا قاعدين في حته ايه التراك ده ده تراك يخش اعمل لي فولو انا في مصر الدي جي مش معترف بيه في نقابه المهن الموسيقيه صعب جدا ان انت تنزل حفله بالذات كدي جي شهرنا جدا في الغردقه فتره وفجاه جبنا فيلا والموضوع بدا يبقى فيه فلوس وبتاع وفجاه كل الاماكن دي قالت لنا باي باي روحوا بقينا بايتين في الشارع وبقيت ماشي انا بالعده في الشارع في الغردقه مش عارف اروح بيها فين كنت ببات بقى في الحته بتاعت الشماسي ابات في دخلت اوتيل كنت بصرف نفسي يعني مرمطنا بصراحه محدش خالص وصل صوتنا الناس اللي قادره توصل صوتها للكوميونتي او للناس اللي نزلوا في مصر بيلعبوا مزيكا غربي الناس دي مقفول عليها جدا هو الكوميونتي صغير قد كده والناس كلها عارفه بعض والناس كلها هي اللي بتشغل بعض وموضوع ملوش اي علاقه تقريبا بالسكيلز ليه علاقه بالبوبيولاريتي والكوميونيكيشنز فلو انت مش مشهور او لو انت ما تعرفش ناس حتى لو انت فاجر فانت سوري اي باند اندر جراوند بيحاول يطلع بيعاني معاناه ما يعلمش بيها الا ربنا تلاقي في حفله بتضرب منك حفله اتلغت حاجه حاجه الكهرباء قطعت بيحصل كده مواقف وطرائف خليك ايه تقول هو في ايه؟ هو انا منحوس ولا ايه؟ احنا لحد مثلا 2016 انا فاكر كنا بناخد 1500 جنيه في الحفله ولا حاجه زي كده فالموضوع مش بيجيب فلوس يعني. عدد افراد الباند كل واحد فينا عنده فكره. جامد بس عشان كلنا نتفق على فكره. <تصفيق> اندر جراوند يعني واحد زي حالتي كده ده الاستوديو بتاعي اهو ورايا وانا ده ده في البيت يعني انا الاستوديو هو ده سريري اهو اندر جراوند اندر جراوند يعني معروف لكوميونتي معين او لسكيل معين النهارده بقى ممكن اقعد في البيت معايا اللابتوب بتاعي هعمل مزيكتي اللي انا بحبها تمام فيوز النهارده مليون 2 مليون انا نجحت لوحدي هوب برنامج هوب مش عارف فين هوب اتشهرت فاهم <تصفيق> الموضوع بقى اسهل لما 
تيجي بقى لللايف اكسبيرينس انت بتاخد كل اللي انت عملته في المطبخ ده وبتشيره مع الناس يا اما لاول مره لو هم هيسمعوك لاول مره يا اما لو سمعوك لتاني مره بس انت بتشيره بتيست مختلف You give me في الدي جي سيتس بتاعتي بقيت بلعب اغنيه يعني بلعب اغاني الناس والناس عامله ريميكس والاغاني اللي انا عاملها وبنبسط قوي 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 وده احساس ما بيتوصفش ان انا ابقى بلعب المزيكا بتاعتنا التراك بتاعنا والناس فرحانه بيه جدا دخل التنوره الناس كانت بتصوت يعني هو حصل تراك ريكوجنيشن هم عارفين التراك ده انا عايز الناس تطلع تقول هو مين اللي بيلعب ده فاهم يعني هو لازم الناس تسال مين اللي بيلعب ده وتسال عشان كده لازم المزيكا تبقى مختلفه جدا يعني دايما ساعات بقى يعني ساعات بتسيب ساعات ما بتسيبش ساعات بنرجع تاني نعدل ده طبيعي جدا تمام بس ان احنا بنجرب وبنحاول وهنحاول يعني لا هنحاول اي حد ممكن يعمل اي حاجه في اي حته في اي وقت انت فاكر انت بس ان هو ياخد القرار ويعمله مفيش حاجه اسمها ما ينفعش مفيش اي حاجه اسمها ما ينفعش السد مش اخر حاجه